Okay, let us begin and also let us um, recap what we did yesterday. So yesterday we did some exercises. And uh, related to asset management, and we to the very first exercise which we did today yesterday was that uh, how can we have a asset purchase from external vendors. So that was the one exercise which we did yesterday. And we have gone through whole and uh, that is what we did. So we created asset record, verify the asset explorer, purchase from external vendor and we saw that when we purchase from external vendor transaction code FTS 90 and the document type is KR and posting key what get debited what get credited asset transaction type was 100 we looked at several other transactions as well we verify asset documents, asset master record, and we have looked at it, asset explorer. Yesterday also I talked about upgrading uh, your uh, SAP GUI. So if you want to upgrade your GUI, then you can upgrade your GUI as well. That also we can do. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Good evening. Oh, what is your name? Okay, I will ask somebody in the India team. Uh, you are from India, right? Yeah, I'm in the class right now, so I cannot talk to you. I will ask somebody else to give you a call and uh, and talk to you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. Okay. Thanks. Okay, welcome. Thanks. Okay. Getting somebody getting called. Okay, so we talked about that. And uh, I also mentioned that uh, you can download that SAP GUI um, from, um, from the Google Drive and you can uh, install that SAP GUI as well. So we can do that. The second, uh, the next thing which we talked about, that how can we purchase the asset from the internal production? So we talked about that as well. That how can we <coughs> um, create asset from internal production? Then we also did some more exercises in which um, we talked about, um, you know, credit scenario. So we can uh, we can do the post credit with the asset. So we did that exercise in which um, we did um, asset master. We purchased the asset from external vendor, and then we post the credit memo. And the transaction type was 105. 
and then we also did the retirement of asset sales without customer okay. so we did that as well and um, that was with the transaction code a b a o n we also did um, and the retirement transaction was transaction type 260 we did that as well then we also did another exercise in which we can do the asset retirement by scrap over the period of time certain point of time in the asset life cycle asset become scrap so how can we do that exercise as well so that is what we did yesterday so we, all these different exercises we did yesterday and we'll continue doing some more exercises today also so that is what our agenda for today is okay. um, So let us um, continue with our discussion today. Um, I think I will suggest um, this um, if possible that. Um, install this as a new SAP GUI. Um, it seems slightly faster. I don't know if it is true or not, but um, when I'm running, this GUI seems a um, uh, little bit of lightweight and, you know, it, uh, it seems um, it seems much better though. Okay, so let's uh, continue uh, with our discussion. Um, and then uh, we will continue. So we will do one scenario today that is called asset locking. So we could do exercise with asset locking. Asset locking and uh, subsequent steps. So we're going to create asset master record. And then lock asset. <clears throat> and then asset acquisition from external vendors. Keep making those uh, notes and uh, steps, please. So keep making notes. So how do we do this? So we go to Asset Masters, we log into SAP system, and um, And we go to asset and we create asset and we create asset as we have done before okay. so same transaction code which we have done uh, many many times
So we create a asset. And uh, we're going to create an asset by copying an uh, existing asset. And then hit enter. Okay, so, and then we save it. So asset 2344 is created. We make a note of it. So this is the new asset we created is a very similar to asset we have created before. Nothing different, nothing unique in it. Now, how do we log the asset? Now here, we have a transaction code called locking the asset. Locking is basically like a temporary block. So it's like a temporary block so we go to many times what happens is we have a asset and all that and we don't want to use it and we don't know what's going on and we just want to keep it in temporary hold so in those cases we have asset but we locked it so here we have a See that acquisition lock, none, by default, none. And say, okay, lock for acquisition. I want to lock it for acquisition. And then we save it. See the message in the bottom. <clears throat> See the message in the bottom. The message in the bottom, we basically, Check that. So this basically means so that is what this basically means. We have done. the locking of the asset. Now, after locking the asset, we want to go to the next step. We want to go to next step. So we have a locked. We go back. Now, after locking this, we go back to um, posting. So this is the posting. We go to acquisition, external acquisition, F-90. So we do F-90. So we have F-90. Then we save it. And uh, 
enter the document uh, reference machine purchase we go to account we select the vendor the same posting key and all that which we discussed yesterday hit enter thousand dollars we do the posting key 70 and then we select um, as at um, 23844 uh, which we created today and posting key now see the message in the bottom the message in the bottom tells us that you cannot post to this asset asset 23440 locked for acquisition So that basically means you cannot post to this asset and uh, the primary reason because this is locked so now lock the asset this was the transaction code as01 this was the transaction code um, as05 and uh, this is the transaction code f-19 and then we verify acquisition acquisition is not allowed yeah and it's an error message it's an error message error message now after that i want to unlock it so after locking we can unlock also lock and unlock after that we exit from here so this is exit button yes and um, again i go back to a005 we hit enter and we said none and we save it now see the message in the bottom message at the bottom says asset 23440 not longer blocked so this asset is no longer blocked this is completely unblocked now okay that is what this block basically means this is what this basically means okay. now after unlocking, I want to do asset acquisition from the external source. Okay. Let's check that now. So we go back, so back button. And um, we go to external acquisition, FDS 90, document date, okay, so we did that.
then we go to same step okay Hit enter, hit enter, and then we hit save. See the message in the bo bottom. Now there is no issue. So everything is posted. I want to review asset accounting document. See how the document look like. Go back. Yes. So we go to AB03, which we have been using. We used that yesterday also a few times. This is to review uh, asset documents, transactions. We can put asset, hit enter. So this is my asset 2344 company code pvh1 asset value date amount posted transaction is 100 and uh, this is basically external vendor acquisition that is what we have done so far if i want to see document then i can check accounting document as well and uh, after that, I want to go to um, Asset Explorer and check what is going on there. Okay. So we just go back to Asset Explorer as a part of protocol and we check that. So same thing, we have a transaction being posted, we have a position date is updated. Okay, back. Now we have a. Um, this is the retirement here. And uh, here we have something called F 92. The retirement with customer. We save it. Zero one. We select the customer. Okay. So this is a So retirement. Transaction code 210. How much uh, amount we are selling? Posting key. Another posting key. Fifty. We select a GL account.
Okay. Oh, I put the wrong amount. And we set it. So document go, got posted. Exit. So this is example of retirement with revenue with a customer. F dash 92. So retirement with the customer with revenue and the transaction code is f-92 that is what we did so far So now, so this is another scenario which we have done. And uh, we want to do some more scenarios. Okay. I want to do a scenario of reverse document. So asset reverse document we can do. Reversing asset document. Okay. Okay, so that is what we have done so far. Let's do this. Um, so what we want to do in this scenario, we have a creating asset master. Record. Then Asset acquisition from external vendors that is F dash ninety so we want to do that and then I want to reverse asset document transaction code AV08. So this is how we can reverse the document. And then once you do the reversal, then I want to verify asset accounting document. Same transaction code of our AV03 and uh, verify asset explorer that is AW01N. Okay. And then Acquire asset again from external vendors. Okay.
make a note of all these steps. So make a note of all these different steps. Make a note of all these steps, please. Okay. So now let's create an asset. So let's do this exercise. So we go back, and because asset and all that we have created many times, I will go a bit faster. So we go to A01. We can copy any existing asset. And um, we can change the name. Okay. And then we can save it. So see the message in the bottom. Asset 23450 is created. Okay. Make a note of the asset. So we make a note of asset. So this is the asset master we have created. Many of them we have created before, nothing different in this. Now I want to do um, asset acquisition, similar to the one we have created many times. Nothing different in this transaction also. So we go to F-90, select the document date, if you go to reference and put some text, select our uh, supplier, which we have been selecting any supplier. You can create a new supplier or existing supplier. Doesn't make a difference. Transaction type, 100, hit enter. Okay, so so one thousand dollars. Entering the posting key. Enter my oh no. This is not the correct. So we select the right asset. Basically, basically we do. So this right asset is not capitalized yet, and we select the asset date. We enter the amount, one thousand. Okay, and then we save it. Okay. So see the message in the bottom. So the message in the bottom basically tells that we have posted it. As a document. Okay. Now, after that, I wanted to. So we did a, a, a acquisition. After that, um, I wanted to go to. Asset Explorer. Okay. AW01 and see that here. Exit. So we go to Asset Explorer. The same way. So we go to Asset Explorer, the same thing. So we have a 
asset value $1,000 and we see here the transactions and we have done transaction 100 which is So we have entered, we have entered our, now I want to verify as a document. I want to verify asset accounting document. Okay, let's do that also. So we can see the information there. Okay, so we go that. So here we have so we have PVH one, asset two, three, four, five. Wow, I like the number two, three, four, five. Wow, interesting number. So here we see that the same thing. Uh, we have a asset and company code and valuation date, thousand and all. If you go to accounting document. So we can have a content document. The same way we have seen the content document multiple times. So no problem. So we go back. So we have exit button here. So we go back here. Now, here we have a reversal document. See that there's a reversal document. Okay. Reversal document, AB08. AB08. Okay. Hit enter. Now here, system tell me that okay, I have this uh, asset in this company code in this date. This is amount. And then we have a the reversal. System ask me to enter reversal region. So I enter any reversal region and we save it. Now see the message in the bottom. Document 1900031 was posted in the company code PVH1. Okay. Now we go back. Now after that, we see this accounting document again. Then we hit enter. Now we have a two documents here. Uh, see that? See that? I'm okay, sir. I'm in a class right now, though. Call. Yeah, call Mohit, no? I will tell Mohit. Yeah, I will tell him. I will tell him. Okay, no problem. Okay, thank you. Bye. Yeah. Okay, so now we see here. <clears throat> so this is my document. Now, in this document, amount posted was 1000. Now, if you see this another document, then we have a minus here. Okay. So, here, minus basically means the previous document has been, um, has been uh, reversed. Okay. That is what this basically means. So here we have a another document with a minus. If you see this minus document, if you go to accounting document, then here it will say that that my supplier has been debited. So earlier it was credited, now it has been debited. Okay. After that, after that, I want to go to Asset Explorer, and I want to see what is going on with the Asset Explorer. Now, if you see the Asset Ex Explorer, then Asset Value become zero because we reversed it. So Asset Value become reverse zero. So Asset Acquisition Value is zero now. There is no. So we have a two transaction: Asset Acquisition thousand dollars, and this is a reverse for minus. So there is a debit and credit. So what we did, um, reverse the document, we verify content document, we check the entries, 
and then we ver verify asset explorer and we saw that acquisition value has been reduced now after doing that i want to acquire this asset again okay so i want to acquire this asset again and check what is going on with this asset okay let's do that acquire asset again from the external vendor f-90 so we exit this exit button i go back to asset acquisition f-90 same way as we have done many many times and then after that enter my account select my vendor Now I want to enter, let us say amount uh, 1200. So amount we have posted uh, wrongly. We select our asset here. And um, the asset was two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Then we asset transaction type. We enter the amount. And then we save it. Okay. So that is what this now after that. Do you want to exit? Yes. So go to exit button. And after that, I want to check uh, my document again. So now for this asset, 2345 PVH1, this was the initial document, then this is the reversal of document, and this is the new document for $1,200 because I put the wrong amount. Yeah, you can do AP also, you can do here also. So you have both options. So, we go to 1200 so now here we have a 1200 if i select that and if you go to accounting document so here we have a document number and then we have here our account and then and after that if i cancel this if i cancel this go back go back and now and I want to check my asset explorer. I want to see what is going on with this. Okay, so here we have a thousand dollars. Then there's a reversal of thousand dollars, and there is a um, value of twelve hundred because the initial document was wrong. Now why we'll do the cancellation? So what are the reasons that uh, you will do a cancellation of the document? So the cancellation of asset document you will do because the previous document which you entered was wrong value or you know something some user error or something happened and because of those user errors etc you might be reversing this okay so that is how we can post the reversal of the document okay. so that is what this basically means now i want to do some more scenario of the different transactions so i want to do 
is scenario that is called um, unplanned depreciation so many times what happens is unplanned depreciation happen unplanned depreciation basically means when for whatever reason some accident happened or something happened there was an accident there was a fire whatever some kind of a unfortunate circumstances and in that we can have something called unplanned depreciation so make a note of that something called unplanned depreciation because of certain reasons you have to reduce the value i had a vehicle got an you know accident we have a machine it broke down something happened so that is called unplanned depreciation so i want to do another exercise that is called unplanned depreciation document so how do we do that unplanned depreciation document make a note of these steps so in case of unplanned depreciation document you can create asset master record same way as we have done many time okay. then asset acquisition from external vendors that is f-90 okay <clears throat> then similarly verify asset accounting transactions asset accounting document ab03 verify asset explorer same way as we have done before nothing different to that and then we go back to the next step which is um, unplanned depreciation document Trans transaction code for that is ABAA Okay. So make a note of all these instructions, please. Okay, make a note of it. Unplanned depreciation document. Okay. So now we create a asset a01 <clears throat> same way we have created many asset so nothing different
and then we save it. So create an asset, make a note of it. So we created an asset. Simple asset as we have done many, many times. So now we acquire asset as we have done several times. So we go back. And then here we have a So I want to acquire the asset. Similarly, as we have done multiple different times. So F dash 90. Okay. So here we have F dash 90. We select that. Similar, we have done several times, nothing actually different in this. Transaction type 100. You have to do all these steps so you can complete. We enter the date, quantity, the posting key, the same way we have been doing all along. So these steps are actually a repeat steps. Okay, and then we save it. So a document 19003 was posted in the company code. This is same way as we have done many, many different times. So this acquisition is same thing. Now, if you go back, and uh, If you go back to, um, so this is how we acquire the asset. Now we want to go to unplanned depreciation, ABA. That is what we are talking about. Unplanned depreciation. Okay. Unplanned depreciation. So we did unplanned depreciations. So here we have a unplanned depreciation. This is unplanned depreciation. We can choose. This is my company board, this is my asset, document date, posting date, transaction type 650, plant, unplanned uh, depreciation. Oops. So six fifty hit enter. Then how much the amount we want to post? Two hundred dollars. Accident happened. and we hit enter. See the message in the bottom? Asset transaction was posted with AA document number 22. 
Okay. So we go back. And after going back, we go to A003. Now, we have a, this is my original acquisition document for $1,000. Then we create another document at a 117. And uh, this is for $200 minus. See that here? Minus. This was the unplanned depreciation. And the reason for that was accident. Some accident happened. If I want to see this value, if I go to accounting document, and we can see the document. Now, after that, if I want to go and see the asset um, explorer, so this is asset explorer. So what we did, unplanned. Um, so here we use um, asset transaction type uh, transaction number 650. So this is the uh, 650 is for unplanned uh, depreciation. Okay. Then uh, we verify asset accounting document, which is AB03. And then We can also verify Asset Explorer. Okay. We can do that as well. So now let's see. We go to Asset Explorer and we put our asset two, three, four, six. Now here, we had a thousand dollars. This is um, one transaction which we did. Transaction at 100, excellent acquisition, US dollars. We have another minus 200, unplanned, ex uh, uh, unplanned depreciation, $200. If we see here, my acquisition value, 1000. And my unplanned depreciation, 200. So it uh, it reduces unplanned depreciation 200, and my net book value get reduced by 200 dollars. Otherwise, it should be 904, and because we have a 200 dollars of unplanned depreciation, so at the end of fiscal year, my net book value become 704. Okay, rather than 904. So verify explorer and my net book value got reduced. So let us recap what we did today. So today we did a few exercises and uh, the one exercise which we did was asset locking and subsequent step how can we do asset locking we talked about uh, how can we reverse an uh, asset document and uh, how can we do unplanned depreciation document now if you remember long back we created a uh, purchase orders and all that. So, and we did that uh, FI and MM integration. In FI and MM integration, we did, uh, we created a purchase order. You know, when we went to MM and uh, we did the purchase order and we did uh, several different type of purchase orders and all that. And those were the some of the transactions which we did, if you remember. Okay. 
So if you go to purchase order, and that is the purchase order we have created multiple times when we are doing FI and MM integration. Now, the one thing which we are we have here on the right hand side, the same purchase order, same everything is used. So if you see here, this uh, there is a small uh, icon here, which is the account assignment category. In that, we have a uh, one of the account assignment category asset. So that basically means if you are creating a purchase order, as we did many many times. If you remember, we did the purchase order several times, right? So in that we can choose accounts assignment category as asset so that way we can uh, we can basically um, create um, and when we are doing a good seat so that basically system create an asset so that is how we can purchase asset using mm module the rest of the step is same as you remember we did all these exercise multiple times where we get a purchase order when we get a good receipt and invoice verification and all that so same step we can do but only difference in this purchase order same purchase order as we did uh, long many time that here we have asset class a so that is the difference. Okay, now coming back to our discussion, so we did unplanned depreciation. Then we also have something called asset under construction. Okay. Asset under construction. So for example, we are constructing a uh, building, we are constructing an office. Now, office is uh, also our uh, is also our asset of you know asset class building. But then what happens is this asset is getting constructed over the period of time. So here, this is my asset, and then what we can do is either we have a something called if i'm using uh, investment management so i can create and post and manage investment orders and we can assign the cost because when we are building an office for example that incurring the expenses and we are in in that expense we are basically uh, assigning the cost or investment to the to the asset under construction for example I'm doing let's say office or I can also create and post acquisition so that basically means over the period of time I can do acquisition and post acquisition to the asset and then finally that cost of asset can be um, settled and can be assigned to the asset so asset under construction so let us do this exercise of asset under construction so how we do asset under construction so let's do that So we want to do exercise asset under construction. Okay. For that, I want to create a asset master. record 
which is AS01. So we do asset under construction. Same. So let's do that. So I come out of the logistic. I want I want to show you like if you're purchasing that asset from purchase order, then how will it work? Okay. Now coming back to We have a asset S01. Now here in the asset class, we have been selecting the 2000. If you go to asset class, and we have a separate asset class, which is 4000, 4, okay? So that is an example of asset under construction okay so make a note of that asset class is 4000 so here there is a separate asset class that is 4000 we select that. Then we hit enter. Then we say, you know, constructing <laughs> office building. Okay. We enter the cost center. Okay. See the message in the bottom. The asset four zero zero two is created. Okay. So we make a note of the asset. We create asset. If I check the asset, now if you see that there is no useful life here because we don't know how long it will gonna take. So if you see that here, there's no useful life which is being assigned. If I go to uh, Asset Explorer, and now my acquisition value and everything is same, and we go back. Now, I want to assign, I want some values Do this. Okay. So here we have a FS ninety. That's it under construction okay and then uh, we are posting key 
Assigns of value. We select the asset, and this is the asset. Office under construction four zero zero two. Transaction 100. One thousand. Okay. So document one nine zero 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 three five was posted in the company code. So we are able to post the document. So we posted a document. Now, if I want to see this document, exit, yes. I want to go back and review this document, AV03. Hit enter. So here, it, um, this is my uh, asset and this is my company code, this date, and the uh, amount posted is 1000. So we have posted 1000 uh, asset class, 1000. Um, then we do acquisition, so assign cost to asset, and we have done F test 90. We can verify We can verify accounting document. Which is AB03. And we can also verify asset explorer also. So we exit out from here. So the exit button, go back. And here, if I want to check my asset explorer as well. So if you go to asset explorer, and uh, this is my account, and then it has been assigned the value of 1000 okay. net good value 1000 no depreciation nothing is planned so we have a 1000 dollars cost being assigned to it and also net book value is also 1000 no depreciation nothing has been planned yet <laughs> similarly we can assign the cost to this asset and um, so if I go to F-90 again, for example, <laughs> so we choose that. Again, we post the posting key. Post it again. Now, if I will go back, so you can post, obviously, over the period of time, multiple time. And if I go back and check the document, so for this asset, company code this, we have assigned uh, two documents. This is the first document, this was the second document. So assign the accounting document, verify asset explorer. Then 
we can assign cost to asset again and you can keep assigning because this cost keep incurring cost because under construction and then we verify accounting doc which is AB03 and then we have verify asset explorer okay So now, if I go back, I exit and uh, exit. And then if I go back to um, my Asset Explorer again, just to check what's going on. So we go to AWGN again, we put it uh, company code, asset. Now, if you see here, we have a acquisition value, 2000 and net book value 2000 because we have acquired we have to assign two costs $1,000 and $1,000 we have assigned the cost twice similarly we keep assigning the cost to this asset uh, till we wanted to keep assigning the cost okay okay so that is what we have done now once uh, we have done all this uh, exercise uh, send cost again uh, there is also uh, something called we have a i want to do another exercise which is a capitalize asset under construction. So eventually some point of time, you will capitalize, okay? So capitalize asset under construction. That transaction code is AI AB. Okay. Make a note of that. This is a new transaction. AI AB. Now AI AB is to keep, uh, distribute the cost or assign the cost. Okay. So we make a note of it. We go there, then we go to distribute. So we have here, um, it execute. So we have uh, these two documents. The system tell me this document, thousand dollars. This document, four thousand dollars. This is the building the office under construction. You want to see the detail? You can see the detail also. And uh, 
if you hit enter and then you can say asset asset receiver who will get the cost so we said this is the cost how much cost you will get 100% so 100% cost is getting assigned to this how much cost $2,000 And then we back. So now if you see that this become, they were red color, now this become green. You see it. So we are able to save the cost assignment. Okay. Now I want to do one more exercise. I want to do one more exercise that is um, called uh, asset transfer. So we can do asset transfer also. Asset transfer. In asset transfer exercise, I want to create asset master which is um, a01 so you can create asset master this is similar to we have done many times so we go back and um, we create asset so a01 and uh, let us say I select my asset class 2000 creating asset with the hit send hit enter And then we save. Okay, so we are able to <clears throat> we are able to um, create a set two three four eight. Okay, we make a note of it. So we exit out and make a note of asset which we created. So this is our asset. It's a machine asset which you have created. And we saved. So we created asset. Now, in that uh, asset, we wanted to do asset acquisition from external vendor. F-90. Okay, so we created asset acquisition from external vendor F-90. This is similar to we have done many times. So we go back. So we do asset acquisition. Um, We select the vendor which we have. So this is our vendor. Type 
this is same exercise which you have done many times. Okay. So bit, you have done many many times. So we are selecting the same. Selecting the asset which we created, which is this transaction type 100. Asset asset class 1000. And then we save it. So see, we have a document 1900037 was posted in the company code 1000. So we are able to do the acquisition this is the same way as we've done many many times no difference same transaction whatever we have done now what is the transaction code for transfer so do you want to exit yes so here if i see this um, asset here and here we have a asset transfer okay. this is asset transfer and uh, this is a uh, transaction code abu mn so we want to do asset transfer and uh, in a company and the transaction code for that is A B U M N. A B U M N. So we go there, A B U M N. And then uh, we have a company code, PVH1. This is my asset. I put my document date, posting date asset value date now here system saying transfer to so system saying transfer to existing asset i might have a, another asset so i'm transferring this asset to that asset so i might have already an existing asset so i can transfer to that existing asset if i have an uh, existing uh, asset so i can transfer this to my existing asset so that is the one option second option is that no we don't have and uh, i want to create a new asset and uh, that new asset is um, what is the asset class so say the new asset is asset class 2000 um, we wanted to what is the description it's a description of this is machine okay. so we're creating a new machine okay. master data so this is the master data uh, asset is this company code is this this is a description if I want to enter any, um, you know, business area uh, cost center and all that, I can enter it. Hit enter. Okay, description, second description also. So there are two description. Okay. So now system takes new number assigned as this and I save it. Now see the message here. So here as a transaction posted with the document 400020. And then asset is created. So two things happen. So there's an asset transaction which is posted. And the asset transaction which has been posted is 4000020. So when we do the transfer, so what we did basically, we selected transfer to new asset 
this asset is not correct, this asset is wrong, and description is wrong, or something. You know, I may transfer one asset to another asset. Many times mistakes happen, and this is was not the correct asset. I want to do the new asset. And uh, after the transfer the new asset, then we also saw the new asset is created new asset is created and that new asset is basically so this is automatically system created new asset two three four nine so this is asset and then accounting document is created after that i want to verify asset accounting documents so i want to go back and check the asset accounting document and see how my asset accounting document look like so we go to first ab03 so we go to ab03 so i close this window then i exit out and then again i go back to uh, my av03 now in av03 first i want to check with the 2348 it enter what happened now here this is the asset which we did 2348 so we go back here uh, so we verify asset transaction for asset uh, Two three four eight. Now, when we see the two three four eight, so this was the initial transaction we did, hundred. Now we also have a retirement via current year is acquisition transfer. So there is a new transaction been with a transaction type three hundred and twenty. So we see that for transaction three twenty eight, new transact asset. Transaction type 320 is posted and value is credited. So now what happens is if you see the value here, there is a minus because I have transferred this asset to the new asset. So here this asset value has been credited by hundred uh, by the thousand dollars. Now for that, if I want to see the asset explorer also. If I go to Asset Explorer, and first I go for two, three, four, eight. Now see here. So this was my excellent um, acquisition for thousand dollars. Then there's a retirement by transferring to the new one. Transaction is uh, three twenty, and uh, minus two hundred. My acquisition value is zero. So there is no acquisition value which is left. This is for that. Now the same thing after that. I wanted to. Verify. Verify. Asset accounting doc for for new doc for a new asset which is got created in the transfer. Okay, so let's do that. So here I. Rather than two three eight, I go to two three four nine. Hit enter. Now, if you see the two three four nine, then I have here asset acquisition, acquisition transaction, and this transaction is three thirty. So here we have verify new transaction equals to. Three three zero. So this is a new transaction equals to three three zero. Okay. That is what this basically means. That is what happens. Okay. <clears throat> so that is the example of
So that is why. And if you see that netbook value, the same thing that it got created. So this is an example of how do we do asset transfer from one asset to another asset. Asset Explorer, we have seen many, many times. We can see the value. Now, there is a one more um, uh, transaction which I want to show you. There is something called Asset History Sheet. So, there is a transaction code called Asset History Sheet, which is transaction code AR02. Make a note of that AR02. AR02 is for asset history sheet. Now, where it is? So, make a note of it that first and foremost. Okay. Make a note of it. Okay, asset history sheet AR02. So now I go to AR02 and uh, this is my asset history sheet. Now here in asset history sheet, I can put uh, asset number, which I want. I can put asset class, date and other parameters. So you can get all different asset history sheet information, okay? So you go familiarize yourself. Um, there is a certain transactions which you can do. Okay. Now we're finishing today. Finishing today, thank you. Keep doing exercises. Keep doing exercises and send to me. Thank you. So thank you all. And talk to you next week, guys. Bye, guys.